Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We knocked out the Jaspies 62 box NFL draft football mixer right here on Thursday night, April 28, 2022. First round of the NFL draft. I think a couple picks away from being uh, over, but we got this uh, mixer knocked out. So big thanks to everybody here. At the end, along with any other randomizers, we'll do the two wax party giveaways here. And I think that'll unlock some more wax party breaks uh, over the next uh, few days or so. So keep an eye on jazbeescasebreaks.com. No vet comments ship. Yeah, tons of value, a lot of different years, and this is breaking today. So there's the big list of all the boxes right here. We did a count. We confirmed there's 62. There it is. There, there it all is right here. And a very big thing. We've been keeping track of this on the uh, break schedule, which is always pinned in the chat. So Robert started us off by buying the first spot outright. We got some other people buying spots outright. A lot of winners here as well. For all the different fillers, so thanks for ev to everybody for participating in that. Two different number blocks, so those will be assigned a team. Uh, even Instagram helped out with some Instagram crates, so I appreciate that too. And a lot of people buying spots straight up towards the end of the day, so I appreciate you as well. I appreciate everybody. Thank you. So let's gather all these names, and now let's randomize you a team. So big thanks to everybody for putting in the work right here, and all 32 teams are in. Good luck, fingers crossed. Let's roll it, randomize it. Six and a four, 10 times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. Six and a four, 10 times. There's 10 right there. Jesse down to Sean. Six and a four, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and good luck. Fingers crossed. Tenth and final time. After ten, we've got the Bears all the way down to the Niners. All right, Jesse with the Bears, Martin with the Bengals, Carl with the Jaguars, Jimmy with the Chargers, Nancy with the Ravens, Brian with the Buccaneers, Stephen with the Patriots, Trent with the Panthers, Robert with the Cardinals, Ryan with the Steelers, uh, Kobayashi with the Falcons, Dusty with the Texans, Martin, Seahawks, Packers, Broncos, Chad, you got the Giants, Jonathan with the Browns, Trent with the Jets, Ron with the Commanders, Barry with the Dolphins, Carl with the Titans, uh, Robert with the Saints, random number block one, which is right here, this group. You've got the Bills. So Bills Redemptions will go to zero. One of ones will go to Kobayashi, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Carl with the Vikings, Bill with the Colts, random number block two, you have the Rams. That's this group right here. These, these were uploaded in separate videos just in case you're looking for the randomizer results right there. So random number block two, you've got the Rams. Jonathan with the Lions, Trent with my Raiders, Allen with the Chiefs, Richard, Last Spot Mojo, Dallas Cowboys, Carl with the Eagles, and Sean with the San Francisco 49ers. Now, trades are allowed. It's going to be a little bit longer of a trade window because I'm going to start setting up some supplies here and kind of get myself ready and... I know there's a lot of different boxes in this break, so I know maybe people want to figure out, hey, do I want to trade this team or not? So remember, trade at your own risk. Let's alphabetize by team. And stick around, ladies and gentlemen. We will be right back. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. There was a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. So here it is. On Thursday the 28th, round one of the NFL Draft, we're doing our 62-box NFL Draft football mixer. So big thanks to everybody here who got into the action. I appreciate it. Now, there's probably going to be a lot of randomizers due at the end. We've, obviously, we've got a, a wax party, two wax party spots being given away. That'll be one different list. Um, there are also going to be randomizers for who gets all the non-numbered base cards for the Buffalo Bills. And if there are non-numbered hits for the Bills or the Rams, what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to separate those hits out and randomize them. You'll see at the end. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Sorry, Trent. 
Well, uh, you'll have to talk to Mayock about that. Um, Josh Jacobs could be someone you could get. Trent. All right, so of course we're gonna get some of the base heavier stuff out of the way first. How old do we go back? Do we go back to Derek Carr rookie year? I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah. Well, I mean, ownership kind of figured that out. Th those guys aren't there anymore, right? <laughs> So, uh, so I think ownership figured that out. Got Gruden out, Mayock out, and some Patriots guys in. So let's see if that'll if that'll change anything. Yeah, I don't know, Rex. I I don't know what uh, what Nick's waiting for at this point. I know we want to get this done for sure. So I I, I think that now that this is done. Maybe that opens the floodgates to blow out the last handful or the last chunk of, uh, of wax party spots. All right, just in the interest of time, we're going to be breezing through a lot of these somewhat quickly. Uh, so I guess cornerback Trey Morrison We're gonna we'll, we'll look those we'll look at this one. I'm gonna get the sage out of the way first. We're gonna look these guys up and make sure they go to the right place. But um, if there's a checklist, it'll go by the checklist. If there's no checklist, it'll go by the team that they're currently on. Some of the bigger names we may know, we may spot right away. But I don't think any of these guys are the bigger names yet. What year is this? 2022. Yeah, this is 2022 Low Series Football by Sage. So, Traylon Burks, Bertain Brown. Oh, wait. Um, this is 2022. That's a good point. That's a good call, Stephen Flat. A lot of these guys aren't even drafted yet. Yeah, Steven's like most of these guys getting drafted in the next couple days. So yeah, well, this will go to the team that drafted them. So these will go to the teams that drafted him. So we'll we'll find out in the, over the next few days or so. Sixteen autos in each box. Michael's saying uh, Burks got drafted tonight, though. So wherever that Burks card was, that'll go to that team. Three best draft picks tonight. Sauce, Garrett Wilson, Jermaine Johnson. 
Uh, what did everyone think about the draft? Was there, what's everyone's draft analysis? You know, or what's your team? What's your team? How do you think they did in the draft? My Raiders don't draft until the third round, so I don't have to worry about it until tomorrow afternoon at some point. Kenny Pickett was the, I think, the only quarterback in the first round, right? So, um, Steelers going with, with, with Kenny Pickett. Where does Malik end up? Wolfpack saying, uh, Tim saying, Jermaine Johnson, go Knowles, Jets got so lucky. Pretty good draft. Adam is saying, never got boring. Jalen Hurts will be a fantasy stud again. Yeah, the Eagles fans here, Jason Jaspi, Nick Jaspi, Nick's dad, the boss man, all Eagles fans here. Where does he end up? And so I think they were pretty happy about the draft. They got some defensive tackle help. So they've got a solid defense, but, you know, just kind of retooling that defense. And then adding A.J. Brown. That was pretty exciting. A lot of trades, too. I thought there were a lot more trades than I usually remember in the first round. One more box of these. Uh, what do you think about, what does everyone think about Marquise Brown? Kyler Murray's old teammate going to join him in Arizona. Trying to make Kyler Murray happy? But this, this analyst is scratching his head about that. mind that I don't mind that trade yeah maybe you're maybe you make Kyler Murray happy oh, was it David Carr making that analysis um, but you make Kyler Murray happy he can Marquise Brown can stretch the field there's they Arizona's got some other great receivers there you know so I don't know if they really need to count on him to be like uh, no he you know just have Marquise Goodwin just fly down the you know, just fly down the sideline every once in a while, stretch out that field. That, I think that helps a lot of other guys. No Christian Kirk. Rondale Moore might be able to step up. Rondale Moore? Yeah, Rondale Moore. Rashad Bateman is... I don't know why I get those names mixed up. Rondale and Rashad. But I think Rondale Moore could get some more looks in Arizona. Do they still have A.J. Brown so they could still have some veteran presence there? Is DeAndre Hopkins still there? So, so we'll see. Adam's going to bet money that on the Chargers take a receiver. I knew that dream. Oh, you bet money on the Chargers take a receiver, but you knew that dream was over when the Lions traded up to 12 for Williams. Do the Chargers need another receiver? Yeah, that's a good call, Trent. Trent does have Jalen Hurts cards up for sale. Might have to take that down. Now with A.J. Brown going there, he might have a pretty great season. Might want to readjust the pricing on that. Now, 
Michael, Michael was surprised because before the Lions pick was announced, I thought that for sure Eagles had traded up for Williams. Lions surprised him. Done with that. So again, for these Sage cards, once the draft is over, we'll be able to assign these to their respective teams. I had a little interest in what the Packers were going to do. They took Quay Walker, a linebacker out of Georgia. It's one of the two picks from, from that Devontae Adams trade. You know, I'm going to set those aside in a completely different pile. We may have to do a follow-up video on that because there, there may be some undrafted folks. So there wasn't any instruction on how we're going to handle that. So we'll cross that bridge uh, next week. My hope is most of those players will get drafted by the end of the weekend. And then we'll have a place for them to go. And hopefully the undrafted players will get signed on Monday. And then the ones still in college will probably just randomize to randomize back to this group. All right. Now we're back. Now we went from 2022 college players and we're flashing all the way back to 2012. Upper deck of football. Upper deck SP authentic football. made any instructions on what we're going to do with the Sage. Autograph is Andre Ware, sign of the times. Uh, I think I pulled up the checklist for this. Uh, 
Andre Ware is a Detroit Lion. That'll be for Jonathan. Remember, we're going to do the, the the space heavy stuff first, and then we'll work our way back to like the the choice stuff, the higher end stuff. I know there's some higher end stuff that have base, a lot of base in it, but in terms of just timing wise, there's B.J. Cunningham, a 145 out of 885. Uh, Rams. I remember Eagles. on the checklist. I remember, uh, I feel like I remember him, remember putting him on my fantasy team. Might have, might have had a few hot weeks waiver pickup. A Bach 2012. SP Authentic. Uh, what else? Let's get some draft picks out of the way. These will go by the checklist because there is a checklist available. If there's no checklist, then we'd go by our no checklist rules, but these will be on the checklist. So whatever teams, oh, I forgot this guy. Whatever the, whatever team they were assigned when this product came out. Here is Kellen Moore, 250 out of 335. What's Kellen Moore doing these days? Is he coaching? This is Coach Kellen Moore, right? Yeah. This will go to whatever... Uh, let me look at the checklist here. Uh, this will go to the Detroit Lions. But he's a what, offensive coordinator with the Cowboys right now. Still with the Cowboys? Yeah, still with the Cowboys. Lions, that'll be for Jonathan. David Carr in the background, if you can hear the TV in the background. Where does, uh, yeah, where does guys like Jimmy G and Baker Mayfield, where, where does everyone think they end up? 
Only one QB taken in the first round. There was some speculation that it would be Kenny Pickett and Malik Willis would would be drafted in the first round, but Malik Willis has not been drafted yet. Jimmy G and Baker are still out there. Did they get moved in the next couple days along with some draft picks or no? There's DJ Daniel. George Kittle, Rashad Bateman. Spencer Brown to 199. There's Devonta Smith, Red Wave. Larry Fitzgerald, Blue Wave. Got KJ Britt to 199. Pat Frymouth for the Steelers to 99. Carlos Basham Jr. to 299. And Aziz Ojolari, uh, Giants, I think, for this one. We'll look all these up, too. That's 25. Got Mac Jones to 149. Hunter Long, rookie autograph. George Kittle to 199. Quiddy Pay. Kenneth Gainwell for the Eagles. Harris, 299. Dylan Stoner. Gainwell, Jamar Chase to 199. Trevor Lawrence. Chris Evans, autograph. To 149. Hill to 249. You got Shaka Tony. David Johnson. Mahomes to 299. Travis Etienne. Autograph. Nice. That'll be for the Jaguars. Carl with the Jags. Could be interesting to see. How the Jags do, they got to improve this season, right? They've got this guy. It's already like a, another first round pick for them. New coaching staff. Got to be better, right? David Johnson, Justin Fields. Blake Prohl, be good for the hobby. Zach Wilson, 249. Be really good for the hobby if uh, Trevor Lawrence has a nice break. It's almost like a lost season for Trevor Lawrence last year. There's Joshua. Ernest Jones. David Johnson to 99, Joe Mixon to 49, Cam Akers, Michael Parsons, Zach Wilson.
got Demetric Felton for the Browns to 99. Javon Holland to 99. Rams is 2 2 Atwell. Rising Stock to 35. And the graded card here. A 959 Ramondre Stevenson for the Patriots. Take it to the house. One out of five. Pats. Stephen Flat. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Let's go. Let's go with the Chronic. Chronicles draft pick. Yeah, let's get all this collegey draft picky stuff out of the way. uniforms from here on out for the most part. boxes of Chronicles draft picks. Jabril Cox. Autograph. Mac Jones to 99. And Trevor Lawrence. And a Quiddy Pay Origins card. That is to 99. 8 out of 99. These Origins cards are a little bit thinner than the usual Origins cards. We actually have some Origins, I think, up here. I'll get to that a little bit later. Anthony Schwartz for the Browns, a one of one. One of one autograph for Jonathan and the Browns. Cleveland, this is for you and all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Two little things there. And we got a. Trevor Lawrence, just a Jamar Chase relic for the Bengals. That'll be for Martin. Good. Uh, Darius Washington. Trevor Lawrence to 99. And a Rondale Moore piece of his jersey going to Robert in Arizona. <laughs> Not far at all into this break. We've only just scratched the surface. Probably have a couple more hours to go.
Dax Milne. this we start grabbing boxes now I think we should be all pro uniforms from here on out here's 2019 Donner's optic football Wide receivers taken in this class too, right? Anthony, what's up? Yeah, let me. We got a long break to go, ladies and gentlemen. So let me hear your thoughts about the draft, about your team, about other teams. A lot of. I feel like there were a lot of trades. What did everyone think about that? Anthony's excited for the Bears draft day tomorrow. Still shocked the Packers pass on a wide receiver in the first round again. I suppose the best were taken, but I thought a trade up would happen. Yeah. So. The first wide receiver taken was uh, by the Falcons, Drake London from USC. And then with the 10th pick, Garrett Wilson out of Ohio State. Saints took Chris Olave out of Ohio State. Three wide receivers in a row. I think Detroit traded up to get Jamison Williams from Alabama. And then Commanders at 16 took Jahan Dotson. That was another wide receiver. Then Traylon Burks went off the board, went to the Titans. He's out of Arkansas. Then Kenny Pickett went 20th. And then corner, linebacker, corner, tackle, center, defensive end, linebacker, tackle, guard, and safety, safety. Close things out. Is it too early to declare? I mean, who won round one, I guess? I guess we can still declare a winner for round one. Yeah, the amount of trade door nuts, right? Both picks and player trades. The Eagles fans here are pretty happy about, about A.J. Brown. The Devontae Smith, A.J. Brown. <laughs> Bill saying his Patriots took a, took a guard no one has ever heard of. But they're sneaky good like that, right? Patriots. JJ Watt. Now how does that make you feel? Like a part of Drew Locke, what kind of does he work some magic up there in Seattle? Does Bryce love to two ninety nine? Kenny Galladay to 150, still Lions edition there, this is 2019. DeAndre Baker to 99 for the Giants, Chad with the Giants. Yeah, Bill thinks Detroit Eagles and Jets did really well. Yeah, Anthony agrees with the, with the Jets. Is this the year that the Jets start turning things around? There's Cleveland Farrell to 150. I don't think his fifth year option is gonna be picked up. There's Hunter Renfro, 65 out of 199. He should be with the Raiders for a long time. Rated rookie orange for my Raiders. Trent has my Raiders. There's Josh Jacobs, rated rookie. Justin Tucker to 299. Some 2020 hybrid. There you go. <laughs> Break over, Trent. You can go to bed now. You got the Renfro. It's all over.
Bill's saying if, if he were the GM, he'd be making all sorts of Madden-type trades. It's kind of what it felt like in this first round. I don't think I've seen this many this much movement in the first round in a long time. What does that mean? Does that mean the draft class was kind of deep? There weren't clear and obvious players that needed to be taken in a certain order? Joe Burrow, Elite Series. There's Isaiah Simmons. This is the hybrid edition. So we're kind of all over the place here. Elite Series rookie card, Joe Burrow. That'll be for Martin and the Bengals with a spot that he got straight up. Uh, let's get some contenders out. We've got a lot of contenders here. No, take that back. We're going to get some, let's get some classics out of the way here. 2017 classics, so... Mahomes, right? 2017? And all these, all these draft, all these years just blur in together. Right, Anthony's saying, what a reversal on draft class from the past few years. Right. I mean, well, I'm, just, I'm looking at the, the Wikipedia right now, and it's just, it's just defense, 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 defense. Offensive line, offensive line, wide receiver, offensive line, wide out, wide out, wide out, defense, defense, guard, receiver, guard, receiver, tackle, QB, Kenny Pickett, corner, linebacker, corner, tackle, center, edge, linebacker, defense, guard, edge, safety, safety. So I don't know what this means for uh, for 2022 picker teams. I guess Pittsburgh might be on the more expensive side simply because of uh, simply because they got a first round quarterback. That generally drives a lot of the market. I guess in the next second third round Friday might be pretty important to see where the other some of the other teams land. But just. Think just looking at the first round, 2022 uh, football prices, probably Pittsburgh the most expensive, and maybe some of those wide receiver teams. But all that could change in the next, by the end of the weekend. So does this hurt XRC value since the draft already happened? Uh, yeah, Select's not coming out until for another month or so. Um, you know what? I don't know. I mean, I think I think it actually helps kind of normalize prices because we know what the picks are. So I feel like some years. You know, I feel like some years there, those prices are kind of are all over the place. Some are really high, some are really low, just because of the who knows of the uncertainty of the market. But now that we do know, maybe that helps. I don't know. We'll find out. It's unprecedented. Yeah, Detroit could be up there in price. Here's classic combos: Derek Carr, Amari Cooper. That is a classic combo. Twenty-eight out of fifty for Trent and the Raiders. Another one, Trent. Jordan, what's going on? How are you? Another 
blank card. That's two ninety nine. And we've got a Andre Reed autograph. That's pretty cool. That's a train whistle hit. Four out of five. Out of fives and under. Buffalo! And the Bills are a number block team. I don't think I printed those out. Um, but I did show it to you on the video. Four out of five. Random number block one. That's for Mark Rao. There you go, Mark. It's a classic. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! We'll do left-right randomizers on those as well. Clay Matthews to 99. Hmm? Andre Reed, four out of five. Out of classics. Not bad, not bad. All right, maybe some, what do I want to do next? Oh, the Chronicles box hiding here. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, Prism's pushed back now. Same day as Optic. Yeah, one of those have to be pushed back, right? There you go, Mark. Hello. Andre Reed, that's not bad. Still got a ways to go for this mixer, but not too bad. Ooh, Jordan is currently printing up some sports card organizers with your new 3D printer. Tell us about this 3D printer. How much did it cost you? Can you make top loaders out of a 3D printer? Is that possible? I guess anything's possible with 3D printing. In my head, 3D printing is like, uh, it's like way out of my budget, but are there affordable 3D printers now? Siobhan Holland to 99. There's Anthony Schwartz again. It's for Jonathan in Cleveland. Rashad Bateman, Golden Gophers relic for the Ravens, Nancy. Donner Salute from 2020. So 3D printing becoming a lot more consumer friendly, Jordan, according to Jordan. You can get a decent one with an eight by eight inch bed to print some smaller stuff for around 200 bucks. Interesting. I was reading something this morning about some dude who, uh, some dude who is building a two million dollar like super sports car that's supposed to compete with like the McLarens of the world, right? Like a street legal like super car. It's two million dollars. I forget where it's called, but it's the dude's last name. Um, it's all 3D printed, apparently. So like everything from like the gear shift, the steering wheel to the, the back of the car, the front of the car, the hood of the car, the doors, everything. Except for maybe, I guess, 
like wires and hoses and stuff, other other regular car parts. But most of it is like is like uh, 3D printing. So they they said they could make like custom steering wheels or something like that. That they could design a fresh new steering wheel and they're not constrained to the you know the usual steering wheels of of the day. It's pretty crazy. Nick Chubb. Primary colors relic for the Browns. Daniel Jones, no 50 year option for him to 399. There's CD Lamb, autograph, 111 out of 149, turn of the century auto for Dallas. Richard Johansson, last spot mojo. If you weren't taking a college course through work on 3D printing, they work, pay for the class, and they have a printer that's really nice. Wait, so yeah, how much is the printer, and then how much of the, is like the materials to print something? Neville Gallimore to 24, die cut. There is, uh, out of 99, uh, oh, yeah, rugs. Full throttle, Nick Chubb. Leonard Fournette. Kinlaw to 99 for the Niners. Points. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. Winner take all in the points if there's any more. You might pair that with like maybe third place on the wax party or something like that just to avoid doing too many randomizers. I thought it was going to be an autograph for a second. Tom Brady to 75. No, just got trolled. Suns, Mavs, book it, says Joe P. So that, that's the matchup. Oh, I forgot there was still basketball. I was so consumed with the... Are all the games over? All right. What about some 2021 elite? Like a team all edition. I know this is a football break, but just because of the length of the break, we can maybe shift the conversation around a little bit. Yeah, it's 3D printing materials. Cheap is 20 bucks, thousand of dollars. Oh, 20 bucks for a, for a kilogram spool of filament, which could go a long way. Interesting. I gotta, gotta get into that. So Philly. Uh, Philly destroys the uh, the Raptors, one thirty-two to ninety-seven. You don't see Revolution Three on the site, Brandon Singh. Did I not upload that? Oh, I forgot to upload. That. I'll do that later tonight. Sorry, I'll be able to do that in a few hours. I'm surprised no one mentioned that. Is Mookie struggling? Mookie bats a little bit. But I think he, he just hit... I think the last couple of games, though, things have been turning around. I think he, uh, well, all the Dodgers struggled with the Diamondbacks for some reason, but the series before did a really nice home run, squaring up a lot of balls. So, so 
so you should be fine. Well, that Caleb Farley die cut was uh, out of five. I just saw that. All right, that's for the Titans. Carl and the Titans, a four out of five die cut. Caleb Farley. So, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. It's Mark Grinnell. Peyton Manning. Tua Tungavailoa. And Joseph Osai for the Bengals. That'll be for Martin in Cincinnati. This is, oh, this is Donner's Elite 2020. Oh, I actually did a stack of those, but there's more. Does anyone know anyone who's had the Kid Report thing? Yes. We actually, uh, we haven't done this in a, in a while, but... And just because since so many products were pushed back, we weren't really able to do it this year either, but... We did maybe two or three years ago. We just designated someone <laughs> um, to get all the kid reporter cards because they had they had kids in the in the age range um, of the you know of the required age range for the kid reporter thing, and they had kids that you know would be interested in doing the whole. There's an audition process and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so we we've, we've sent we've sent uh, a lot of kid reporters cards to to some people, and I don't think anyone has gotten to the next stage though. They say that if you put enough uh, of those like serial numbers into the into the thing for the kid reporters, they've gotten like you know silver packs or maybe a panini shirt or a hat or something random like that. Um, but no one that's gone to the next round. Because I think if you get to the next round of the Kid Reporter thing, you know, I don't know how many winners there are for that next round, but then you're supposed to, to do like a short video, submit a short video or something, something like that of your kid like pretending to interview someone just so you know, they know that the kids can talk and be good on camera and and whatnot. So then from there, I think they, then I think it's someone at Panini or whatever must make that decision to see which kids go on to another round. And then I think there's maybe like a phone call interview or something like that. And, and they eventually pick a kid, report, a kid reporter. And then they ask a question at a press conference. It's Aaron Donald to 399. But yeah, I mean, there's, there's like an age requirement and stuff like that. So... I was hoping that if, if any one of our clients ended up winning the kid report thing, that we'd, like, we'd try to get them to wear a Jaspi shirt or something like that. Steven Montez. They probably wouldn't let him wear any other logos when they're doing that, except for like Panini logos and stuff. But. Joe P, what are what are they saying about the draft class? I mean, you know, I think we I think we've been a little spoiled with the draft classes recently, with like quarterbacks going so high and whatnot. But there were a good chunk of wide receivers taken in the middle of the first round, so if they go off like like young receivers have been doing in recent years. That could be a good thing. Justin Jefferson. 
Brian Edwards. I'm kind of waiting for him to sort of emerge, Brian Edwards. Let's see. Let's see. And another out of five die cut, Clavon Chasen for the Jags. Nothing too crazy, but still a train whistle, Carl, and the Jags. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Uh, when's Jaspi merch going to be, be available? We did a huge uh, uh, t-shirt printing for the National last year. So we may do another one of that like this this year. Devonta Smith, he's got some help now out there. He might have some more room to operate with A.J. Brown on that team. Carl with the Eagles. Kronkowski to 99, Kyler Murray to 99. Kenneth Gainwell, dual relic for the Eagles. Another one for Carl. Rookies and Stars, Diami Brown. Ronnie Perkins, Patriots at 25. Sam Darnold to 10. Redemption. Barry Sanders to 60. Redemption is Najee Harris, dress for success autograph for the Steelers. QB competition out there. You got Trubisky on that team. And then Kenny Pickett. Steelers could be an interesting team. Anthony wants to go to the National, but you don't think he can afford it out there. And wait for it to come back to Chicago, yeah. I think it should be back in Chicago fairly soon. I think Chicago is my favorite favorite spot. Well, no, hmm. I think uh, I think Atlantic City was nice just because of the casinos there. So there's a little more nightlife out there. But I really liked uh, I really liked just how convenient it is to get in and out of Chicago. You know, people are really nice out in Chicago too. Mark Nation says Trubisky all the way. Not a fan of the. Not a fan. Not a fan of uh, Pickett? Or you just want to see Trubisky get a shot first? There he is right here. What did, what did you want to see the Steelers do with that pick, Mark? Anthony thinks Trubisky will ball out. Nagy was not a good coach at all. I, yeah, I'm interested to see what's going to happen with, uh, with Mitch. Because, uh, right, not, not only were the Bears maybe not a good, just not a good spot for him, but he did spend, what, a season or two with the Bills. So maybe that, maybe just a little marinating needed to happen. Gotcha. Mark wanted them to the Steelers to trade up for Neil or Olave. Joshua says bench Mitch. 
I think it'll be interesting to, I mean, and it's going to split a lot of uh, Steelers fans, I want to say. Who they like better. One season with Buffalo, so you can learn a lot in one season, just marinating behind Josh Allen, kind of seeing how, seeing how a well-coached organization runs, so on and so forth. Juju Smith-Schuster, Kareem Hunt, looking for Mahomes here is the main, main Hunt here, rated rookie Mahomes. Come on, rated rookie Mahomes. All right, John Ross, no, rated rookie Mahomes. Tawan Taylor, rookie phenom relic for the Titans, Carl. Wayne Gallman, Elite Series Tom Brady, Aaron Jones rookie, no, was hoping, was hoping. Alright, we've got some absolute boxes here. Oh, let's let's go hunt let's go hunting for Mahomes again. Here's a twenty seventeen Donner's football mega box. Hmm, Mark agrees with Anthony. Trubisky took a trash Bears team to the playoffs twice. And the Steelers are set up better now than those teams were. He'll ball out for sure. It, are, are we is this crazy talk? Are we suggesting that it's time to buy low on Mitch Trubisky rookie cards? Is anyone doing that right now? I mean, Mark, the, and Andy's a Bears fan. He agrees. Are we buying low on Mitch Trubisky? Are we going out there and finding a, a cheap PSA 10 rookie? And then just stashing it? And then, and then, you know, about around this time next year, we'll know if that was if that was a good buy low or not. That would that's a sharp collector play. Mark says buy him up now. How much could a Prism Silver PSA ten Mitch Trubisky be on on the open market? I mean, that's not. I mean, I don't know. I haven't actually been tracking the prices on that. I, I, I like that. Mark's already got a PSA 10 Donner's rated rookie of Trubisky already. So what is that? Did you buy that recently? What's the market on that? Just so we can kind of check, like, by, by the end of the year, we'll figure out if that was, if that was a sharp play or not. Mariota Elite Series and Raekwon. No, no Mahomes rookies in there. All right, what about some 2018 Optic and Optic Blaster? Uh, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, quarterback Josh Allen. Possibilities. Oh, Mark had it for two years. 
Right now they're around 40, 50 bucks. Anthony looked it up. Looks like PSA 10 Prism Silvers of Mitch Trubisky rookies are about 100 bucks right now. Okay. So, I mean, what would it what what would it take for it to what would it take for like what what would happen if he made it take the Steelers to the playoffs? And has a pretty good season. Let's say he's a let's say he's a I don't know, average average fantasy quarterback. Maybe borderline top 10 quarterback. How much do we think his value goes up? There's Kalen Balaj, Relic for Miami, Barry. Is that triple the price? Double the price? Triple the price? work on a bunch of contenders here. Got a lot of contenders here. We got 2011, 16, 21, 2019, 2020. So we'll just go in, in chronological order here. So get an idea of the guys right here. He's a top 10 quarterback, definitely doubles the price. It's an interesting strategy. If you believe in Mitch Trubisky, you know, if you believe in Mitch Trubisky, then, uh, you know, let, let, other, let other collectors overpay for Pickett while you snap up the uh, Mitch Trubisky rookies on the market. It's not a bad entry point. It's not like you're trying to start collecting Luka rookie, Luka Doncic rookies, right? Basketball. Classic, this is a classic buy low situation. All right, and Mark's reminding us the Steelers did get some O-line help too. Gives Trubisky some time. That's right, Anthony. It's all when the scared rats start running away from the sinking market that true entrepreneurs just jump in. There's rookie ticket autograph, Jamie Harper for the Titans. That'll be for Carl. Could be a buy offer. This is like the, you know, I'm, I'm nearly no expert on the stock market, but, you know, I know things are, things are down overall. And probably a good time to, to buy, especially in, you know, there's Blaine Gabbert. Especially if you're on, like, index funds or something like that. Gabbert for Carl and the Jags. Well, I feel like the hobby is a little more fun than the stock market. Got Justin Houston for the Chiefs, rookie ticket autograph for for Allen, who won that in uh, won that team that spot in the, uh, the one of the Instagram crates. That And 
Jordan for the Blue Horseshoes. Rookie ticket autograph. We got um, who, uh, Joe Leaf Leafget? Leafget? How many boxes have I done so far? No idea. I haven't really been keeping track. Not enough. I've still got a lot of boxes left. 15 maybe? We're doing all the, the base heavy stuff first. And then as we get to the boxes that are on the table, it should start to speed up a little bit. Rex was going through some things, cleaning when he heard a noise. Thought it was coming from the kitchen. Walked around the kitchen. Heard something on the porch, and you saw a raccoon tearing into the cat food container. It was a big one. You live in the middle of town. We got raccoons out in this neck of the woods, too. I've seen a raccoon around the shop here. They're around here. I've never caught one in a in a trash can though, doing digging around. Trayvon Boykin, Jordan Howard, we got Boykin for the Seahawks, that's for Martin in Seattle, and the Jordan Howard on-card black ink autograph for the Bears, Jesse. All right, Jordan, I'll see you. Got to look into that 3D printing that Jordan was talking about earlier. This was a year where they really added a lot of download the app. Kid Reporter card, a lot of stuff here. Playoff ticket autograph. Playoffs? Playoffs? 19 out of 199. That is uh, Mackenzie Alexander for the Vikings. That'll be for Carl. Left right randomizers at the uh, at the end as well for any left right cards of which there are many. There's some in classics too. If you remember back there, we got AJ Derby. It's a Devontae Parker plate. That's going to the Dolphins. Barry, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Side. 
All right, and we got uh, Presley for the Packers. That's Green Bay edition going to Martin. All right, more contenders. 2019 this time. About another maybe two hours. The mosaic will come up. Maybe less. Maybe maybe another hour, hour and a half, maybe. I think this will end up being three hours. We're at hour twenty right now. So I say we are halfway through the break. And then everything else on my table is just like, you know, I guess Phoenix has some packs, but mosaic. We'll get that out of the way. It's certified. Doesn't have too much in there. Goes for me. Doesn't blast in there. Everything after the Phoenix, everything's like just a one or two packs in each box. And then we got some quick choice boxes in the back. Then some Panini One is what we're gonna close out. We got three boxes of Panini One. So if you're sitting here thinking, boy, I'm, we're halfway through this break and I'm not having a good break, you know, you can always cross your fingers for uh, the Panini one, because just one card out of there could change your entire outlook on this break. And we got uh, two wax party spots that were being given away too. This must be a retail box. Or no, we, we, this is not a retail, that's a hobby box. Where are the autos? All right, here's one. There's Tanner Hudson for Tampa Bay. That'll be for Brian P. There's Dylan Mitchell, Vikings autograph for Carl. We got a Alex Barnes rookie auto for the Titans for Carl. We got Clayton Thorson, Cowboys. That'll be for Richard. And Riley Ridley. Calvin's brother, 23 out of 88. And that ticket stub designed out here for the Bears. That'll be for Jesse and the Bears. Um, any basketball fans in here? Should we do some postmortems? Three teams closed out their series today. Philly beat Toronto to win the series. Phoenix beat the uh, Pelicans. So they're moving on. And then Dallas ended up being beating Utah. Um, postmortem on the Raptors. What do the Raptors need to do next season? They were, they were pretty much blown out. They got blown out by over 30 points. But what do they need to do? Not much, I want to say. Maybe a good draft? Another, another good draft? Find another, try to find another Scotty Barnes type player would be amazing. Got a healthy Van Vliet. You know, maybe add a couple extra pieces here and there. Maybe they just need to just... I don't think they don't have to, I, I guess what I'm trying to get to is they don't have to do anything too drastic. Another good draft. Some free agency. One more piece, right, Brandon? Yeah, Greg saying draft a shooting guard or a center. Raptors need to try to get another piece. Right, but I don't think, nothing too drastic, right? There's no overhaul here. I think they're in a good money situation or something like that. Ooh, now that could be spicy. Greg's thinking go trade for Donovan Mitchell. 
to be spicy. That might be part of the jazz postmortem a little bit later. No, not really, Brandon. We, we, we've been kind of doing the bass heavy stuff first. We've seen some train whistles, some low numbered cards, but maybe not necessarily low numbered cards of some top names. So we haven't quite seen a monster just yet. But we're also going to get to some of the nicer stuff in the back over there as well. Jacob Phillips. I think the Jazz will either get rid of Gobert or Mitchell finally. Trade for Dame. Trailers. I think da Damian Lillard likes it in Portland, I think. And I think he was... We'll add that to the points pile there. I think he kind of signed off on that CJ McCollum deal. You know, so I think he... Uh, I think he wants to stay out there. He's always loved that the Pacific Northwest. I think he pretty much has almost all of his extended family there, or immediate and extended. There's not of a Peoples Jones. Bill's thinking Mitchell wants to play for the Celtics. What would the Celtics have to trade to to get him out there? Here's a nice one: Michael Pittman Jr. playoff ticket autograph, 12 out of 99 for the Blue Horseshoes. That's for Bill and the Colts. Playoffs? Playoffs? He's just trying to win a game. All right, now we're right here with Contenders 2020. Oh, this is draft picks. I should have done this college. I thought we were done with all our college stuff. But. Yeah, Pittman Jr. I think is underrated. Wait, who... Uh... Who do they have at quarterback in Indianapolis? Kind of blanking on all that. Still saying nobody I want to trade for him. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think the Jazz is going to trade Mitchell. Matt Ryan. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So Matt Ryan's got some weapons there. Michael Pittman Jr. included. It's Josh Johnson. Jalen Brown for Donovan Mitchell, just straight up. I don't know. Jalen Brown, got I think you got to have on that team. Tyson Campbell, college ticket autograph. Although I wonder if teams are going to put the pause button on like on like you know moving mountains for um, moving mountains for a uh, for a super team. Here's Divine Diablo for my Raiders. Because, you know, you see the Nets and my Lakers, you know, try to force a super team together, so-called. But you look at teams like, you know, like the, like the Grizzlies, who have just kind of naturally developed and, and have now... Uh, now look like a complete team. So maybe for for now that era it may not be in fashion this off season. There's Noah Gray. All right, there's Rondale Moore. Wow, that's a printing plate. Magenta, variation B. Rondale Moore for Robert and the Cardinals. Robert, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-hoo! 
could be a, I might take a flyer on Rondale Moore in the uh, in fantasy. All right, here's 2020 Mosaic football. Yeah, Brandon's saying Celtics, they're stars. They signed just didn't work out. First Kyrie, then Gordon Hayward. You know, man. Greg saying maybe some of some of the post Isaiah Thomas era was maybe some comeuppance for Celtics, but they're looking pretty good now. Some great defense there too. It's Bruce Matthews. We'll go to the Titans. Oilers stuff ends up with the Titans. It's uh, Clay Matthews' uncle or something like that? Carl with the Titans. Or dad, maybe? Justin Herbert, NFL debut card for the Bolts. Jimmy K with the Chargers. And an NFL debut red. And another base, Justin Herbert. That's kind of what we're looking for here. This is what, this is what Jimmy's been waiting for. He's like, give me that 2020 stuff. Uh, yes, Brandon. Usually we tie these big mixers around um, specific events, especially ones of this size, you know, like 50 plus boxes, 200 box breaks will get be tied around, you know, maybe an opening day or a Super Bowl, something like that, draft day, first week of the NFL season. Barry Sanders. That'll go to Ron in Washington. Ron Washington, baseball coach. Justin Herbert, NFL debut. Super Bowl one was like a hundred boxes, yeah. Right, there, uh, yeah, we might have a, have we traditionally done an all-star game mixer? Maybe. Am I a Raider fan? Yes, long-suffering, hence the hat. But of course, Brandon, we'll all, we'll always do like, you know, other smaller, you know, like ten to ten to fifteen box uh, box mixer. You didn't see what the Raiders the Raiders drafted Devonte Adams. Brandon, you are a long-suffering Dolphins fan. Um, my colleague Teddy is a Dolphins fan, so he's usually on Instagram live. I think he'll be on Sunday and, and Monday, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, maybe. So. Yeah, the, yeah. Raider, Raiders actually, they, they picked Devontae Adams with two picks. Two first round picks, or a first and second round pick. What is it? Maybe another future year pick? I don't think he gave up three. Awesome. 
Well, are you not excited about the uh, Dolphins with Tyree Kill? Jalen Waddle, Ty Tyree Kill? That could be, a, that's going to be at least a fun team to watch. I feel like the defense is decent. You know. Outside of Buffalo, I mean, is are we really scared of any of the other teams in the AFC East? There's John Taylor. Speaking of two other second year Tua. Yeah, what are we expecting from Tua? 30 TDs with that? And Mike Kosicki's really solid. I feel like the I feel like the offensive line's pretty what's what's the what's the running game like? Maybe maybe uh maybe a little little running game could help. Defense is decent. I want to say. But if Tua doesn't work out, I feel like it might be easy to try to lure a quarterback saying, hey, look, we got Tyree Kill locked up. You know, we got Jalen Waddle here as well. So I feel like they're in a good position even if they have to retool. Sorry, second year Joe Burrow. There's Amir Smith Marset, your second autograph going to Minnesota, Carl and the Vikings. Oh, did the Dolphins get Raheem Moster? I think they did, didn't they, Brandon? You remember? It's like the off the, the free agent window was just so wacky. It's a lot of transaction happened. Yeah, JC is also saying Moster. Yeah, well, went healthy, went healthy. He's a beast. Okay, so good. So there's that, there's that running back. Yeah, maybe a RB two to kind of give him some rest here and there. Oh yeah, so great offense for for the Dolphins. I mean, this is really, this is really a make or break season for two. It's kind of like. You know, I, I think to some extent Derek Carr is in the same situation. He's got all the weapons, no more excuses. No more excuses for Tua. There's a lot of weapons there. Could be. What, what other quarterbacks? What other quarterbacks are make or break? Make or break year. Twenty twenty prison mega box. Ah, Danny Dimes, yeah. Daniel Jones did not get his fifth year option picked up. So it's a it's a big uh it's a big year for him. Cause I think they got him some weapons. Got him some got him uh got him some weapons. He's gotta gotta really step it up. I don't did the did the Bears have a pick? Rex is asking. No, I don't think Chicago had a first round pick. Why not? I figure I feel like they're not picking until the second round, so tomorrow morning, Rex. They've got the 39th overall pick, so maybe the seventh pick of the second round. Oh, that was the Justin Fields trade, right? They traded up for Justin Fields, which is why they're picking correct. Greg, Greg and Bill, thank you. See, when we crowdsource information, we're, we're all collectively smarter. There's CJ Henderson. I can't remember all of that. I can't remember everything. CJ Henderson Jaguars, that'll be for Carl.
JC saying Niners need some defensive backs. Jordan loves marinating behind uh, Aaron Rodgers, at least for another year or two. Some absolute going here. Cart's almost done, ladies and gentlemen. Then it's just the stuff on the table. Yeah, how long do the Seahawks stick with 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 Locke? I think I feel like they're making. I feel like they're make. I feel like they're gonna wait just long enough to maybe see if the the Browns will will crack and not let 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 Baker go at a cheap price. No, no, no vet common ship in, a, in breaks of this magnitude. They rarely do. Goff might have a short leash. More points to add to that points pile. The left-right randomizers. Points are up there. And there is tools of the trade, Marcus Allen. 10 out of 99, look at that. That's definitely game news, a little bit of dirt there. I, I don't think Kaepernick gets picked up. There's Devontae Booker to 15. Nice quad relic and, and auto for my rivals, the Broncos, Martin. Mike Evans, iconic ink autograph. Nice, 116 out of 150. It's pretty nice for uh, Brian Pinch and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's with the spot that he won. Nice, and Eli to 50. Air Raid Relic. Let's flash forward to 2021, absolute football. Talks much thicker this year. Terry McLaurin, absolute heroes relic, and book it. Ian Book, triple relic and autograph to 99 for the Saints. That'll be for Robert. Terry McLaurin to 99 for Ron. Rashad Bateman to 75. Kid Reporter, Diggs, Russell. Just kidding, Dobbins. Dual relic to 99 for Nancy and the Ravens. Got Elijah Moore, triple relic and autograph for the Jets. That is, that is for Trent and the Jets. It's Marquez Stevenson, opera singer Justin Tucker, New Eagle A.J. Brown, that's still Titans edition. Uh, Devonta Smith, his new teammate. Did Panini know that this was gonna happen? Look at this, right out, one right after the other. Dun, dun, dun. Patrick Jones to 100. 
For the Vikings, that'll be for Carl and Elijah Molden to 100. <laughs> Rex, we, we went through a whole thing earlier today. Let's not, let's not get back into that. XR playbook certified? 2013 certified. Alright, 2013 certified. Going back in time again. Maybe not a lot for the Raiders, but... There will be a recap. I might, I might even do the recap in a separate video. This video is just going to be long enough already. Lennon, 10 out of 49 for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Brian. Rookie Mike Lennon. Who apparently has a, an extraordinarily long neck. For whatever that's worth. And there's EJ Manuel, 9 out of 25. If this was 2013, Buffalo would be so happy about this. Buffalo! That goes to the Buffalo number block. So Buffalo 9 is going to be Joseph B. Tomlinson. Keem Nix. Relic 13 out of 25 for the Giants. That's going to be for Chad. Rodney Smith, new generation. DJ Fluker, autograph to 25. Jimmy K with the bolts. Twenty eighteen certified now, still in the certified mode. Certified state of mind. No, no big Herbert or Burrow. I mean we saw some rated rookies, a couple parallels, but nothing like an RPA or anything like that. But we still haven't even gotten to the good stuff yet. Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Joe, Joe P's been around for, around here for a while. And I've met him face to face, in person. I spent time with him a number of different times, so he's a real person. <laughs> Robinson. Malik Jefferson, certified gamers, Andy Dalton. Andrew Luck to 10. And Cortland Sutton to 299. Thank you. 
Got a big hit on that Dalton. There's a uh, Terrell Edmonds to 499. Can we talk again about man Calvin Ridley just betting and then just ooh one of one Mike Evans certified seal of approval card Mike Evans. That'll be for Brian and the Buccaneers. Brian, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Certified potential to 75. That's for the Rams. Number block two for the Rams. That's number one. Rams one will be Matthew. Dash is over Calvin really like forget about him. I just, I just think that story was just wild. There's uh, Mike White to 499. Freshman fabric. Cowboys. Uh, Richard. Let's clear off my cart here. We got 2019 XR. Oh, Oliver, what do you what do you think about the uh, the Kenny Pickett hit uh, pick? That is. I don't think you wanted him, but like I don't know. Now that the dust has settled, what do you what do you feel here? The Travis Fulham for the Lions, Detroit, Jonathan to one ninety nine. We got XR Juju Smith Schuster to ninety nine for the Steelers, Ryan S. Nick Chubb, TJ Hawkinson, triple relic and auto. That's to seventy five. 45 out of 75 for Jonathan in Detroit. Playbook. Got a plate in there too. There's down and dirty Joe Mixon to 299 for Martin in Cincinnati. There's Calvin Ridley again. He's gonna take a break for here. Another year, Kobayashi. And a Devin Duvernay, one of one plate. And autograph Nancy. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And Antonio Gibson. We got book and autograph. Jersey. Book and autograph. That'll be for Ron and the Commanders. Ron, that is 55 out of 99. All right, the cart is clear, boys and girls. Got a clear cart. Got a clear cart. I believe that randomizer's over there. Let's get into some Phoenix. The Hobby would love that matchup. Grizz, <laughs> Mavs Grizz, Luka Doncic versus uh, John Morant. I'd watch it. As a neutral, I'd watch it.
Oh yeah, Trent, so this is gonna take me to 3 a.m. So, done and done. There's Travis Etienne to 250. And Ian Book, piece of his jersey. Aaron Rodgers to 25. DeAndre Hopkins to 75. This is just one break. 62 boxes of hobby goodness. Tommy Tremble to 150. Devonta Smith, dual relic and autograph. He's going to have a, a receiving partner next to him. That's going to be uh, A.J. Brown. Michael Carter. Got a flamethrower Mahomes to 99. <laughs> no, I... Ian, Ian Book is not on the not on the top of the list of players who are good. I mean, I don't know. He hasn't really had a chance. There's Nick Bosa, star signs autograph for the Niners. That'll be for Sean Kirkham. Ian Book played one game last year, late last year, and uh, did not do well. But very small sample size, I guess. But he really didn't take the take the uh, opportunity. Trent saying, I think he threw a pick six in his first series. Yeah, I, I think he might, I think he might have. But, uh, yeah, I guess small sample size. Well, Joe Pizzle's arguing maybe uh, Kurt Warner was his first start at pick six. Threw the book at him, says Oliver. I don't know. I don't think, I don't think Ian Book's going to continue to get the opportunities that Kurt Warner got, though, Joe. The Saints re-signed uh, Jameis Winston, right? I think, maybe? Ah, one of my favorite Raiders picks of all time, Dash. Marcus Russell. Mark Andrews to 50. Kyler Murray, flamethrower. Kyler Murray's teammate, Rondale Moore, a piece of his jersey. Robert. Trevor Lawrence, rookie Phoenix, rookie card. Randy Moss, you got Moss to 150. Trey Lance, flamethrower. Devonta Smith to 125. Kenny G to 199. Cousins. Kadarius Tony, one of one. Woo! Dual NFL shield and autograph. I hope the Giants put him to good use because he's got a lot of talent. Watch the tape. Watch the tape. Chad with the New York football Giants. See, we told you we're getting to the good stuff here. One of one. Uh, Chad also won that spot as well. Chad, congrats. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Jamar Chase to one set. Yeah, they sure did. Greg, they, the Raiders have been reaching for a long time. And maybe, I don't know, we'll see what happens this, this weekend. If that trend continues or if they've learned. There's Heat Wave. 
Mac Jones to 199. Eric Stokes to 199. Randy Moss. And Wong Wu to 50. And Flamethrower's Derek Harb. My favorite uh, Jamarcus Russell story is uh, is when they sent him home with like a back in the day with a DVD of various plays that they could run, you know, and they were like, "Hey, Jamarcus, take this home when you come back this morning and practice uh, to the quarterback meeting tomorrow morning. You just let us know what plays you like, what you don't like." And uh, he came back the next morning and he said, uh, yeah, coach, I love all of them. They all work for me. These are great. Great place, great place. Turns out there was never a DVD in that DVD case. Now, I don't know if this is like a mythology, like people say it's a true story, but I don't know if it's like a fish story, you know, maybe, you know, you catch a fish and it gets bigger and bigger, but with each telling, but, but either way. No DVD in the in, in that case. and blasters. a little bit here. Uh, no, Trent. That's just that's just more work for our sorting team. They're going to be busy sorting this out anyway. But we'll we'll leave you the pleasure of doing whatever you want with those cards like that, the ones you don't want. Rookie Justin Herbert. That's right, Oliver. That's one of the last times the number one overall pick. This is back in the day when there wasn't... Uh, oh, nice. Justin Herbert. Orange Disco for the Bolts. That's going to be for Jimmy K. Won that spot in a filler. But yeah, it was one of the last times where they could just negotiate any kind of contract outright before they had like different tiers and a rookie salary structure or something like that. So, yeah, so Jamarcus held out, came to camp late, all that stuff. Not good for a guy that you want to be your starting quarterback. Second monster box, ladies and gentlemen. Jets had a pretty good, pretty good. I almost said break. The Jets had a pretty good uh, draft, didn't they? All right, plates and patches. Wow, that orange Herbert still sells for two hundred bucks raw. Probably a good call to get it graded too. There's Christian McCaffrey. We got full coverage. KJ Hamler, 51 out of 80. Got Antonio Gibson. That's a nice looking patch and autograph. 23 out of 50. That's for Ron and the Washington Commanders. In the zone. Nick Chubb, one of one plate. Cleveland, this is for you. Jonathan. 
All aboard! Woo -woo. And Jordan Love. We love it. All right. See, we're, we're getting we're getting pretty close to the end now. Things are gonna are gonna start speeding up here. Joe Flacco to 199. Nancy with the Ravens. Braxton Miller. Hot route. That's a catch, right? To 199. A little bit of a low pass, but I think he'll get it. Texans, Dusty with Texas. The Texans. CJ Anderson, 40 out of 99. Triple relic and autograph. For my rivals, the Broncos. And that'll go to... That'll be for Denver Martin. Denver. XR. <laughs> I try to switch off, actually. If there's like a number of train whistles in a row. I'll make I'll mix it up between all aboard the Big Hit Express and just all aboard. Lavisca Chenault Jr. To 75 for the Jaguars for Carl. I got a dual relic, Chase Claypool and um, Anthony McFarlane Jr. to 15 for the Steelers. Ryan S. If there was if it was an autograph, I think I would have put more more oomph into Cleveland. This is for you. There's Eno Benjamin to 49 for the Cardinals. I gotta pace myself. Oliver, this is, uh, this is a 62 box break. Can't have too much sauce. Schedule's in the chat, Trendsetter. Schedule's in the chat. There's Eli Mitchell to 75. Keenan Allen to 49. Josh Jacobs, game day relic to 99. Simi Feoko to 75. I should say Jamarcus Russell when there's a big hit. Mm, I don't think that works, Trent. Is that sold out, Trendsetter? I think that sold out too late, I'm afraid.
I'm not being a Eeyore. I wasn't complaining. I just said it just wasn't happening. We had plenty of time to, tr to do that today. But the people wanted the mixer. Eeyore, I don't think you want to, Eeyoreing is when you complain, when people complain. And then they act like Eeyores and they're expecting that they should be able to hit in every single break. And we know that's not possible. That's just not the nature of the game. I encourage people to be more positive, be more, be more Winnie the Pooh, be less Eeyore. Silhouettes, Bishop Sankey, Austin Safarian Jenkins. It'll be part of the left right randomizer. We got Rajan Neal. Old Crown Royale. 75 out of 75. There's a uh, Mike Wallace to 199. Remember him? Andre Ellington to 199 as well. Heirs to the throne, Bishop Sankey and Trey Mason. And paired up Bishop Sankey with everybody, didn't they? There's Jeff Janis. 70 out of 83. Rookie autograph for Martin and the Packers. Bruce Ellington to 25. Aaron Murray. <laughs> Trent's being an Eeyore with the Raiders. I mean, try to say positive, Trent. Try to be less Eeyore and more, uh, more Winnie the Pooh. There's Kadeem Carey, 4 out of 25. And some people, some people can be piglets too. Piglets, piglets are usually pretty scared of everything. But I always try, I always tell people, hey, scared money don't make money. Don't be a piglet. Don't be scared. Join the breaks. Yeah, maybe more Tigger, less Eeyore. Although, Tigger's a little manic. I, I don't want people to go nuts with, like, too nuts with their money. I want, I want them to be a little more measured. You know, that's like, if you're a Tigger, you're buying, like, 16 spots in a filler or something like that. I don't, I don't recommend that. Oh, well, there you go. Trendsetter. Everything on the website minus Bowman pre-order breaks will be able to break tomorrow. And the weekend the Del Mar show. So they're taking all that stuff. So Panini 1 will break tomorrow. Awesome. All right. There's Mammoth Materials to 299. There's Alexander Madison for the Vikings. Carl. Portland Sutton relic to 199. That's the Broncos. That'll be for Martin. We've got signature materials. That is uh, Chris Long. Nice. 224 out of 249 for the Fly Eagles. Fly Carl with the Eagles. And then Devin Singletary, 193 out of 249. Rookie jersey and autograph. All right. Spectra. Is, do we have Donner's Baseball on the site, Frank? Right? 
There's Mac Jones to 60. Kurt Warner. Jalen Hurts, piece of his jersey, mesmerizing. We got Charles Haley, champion signatures for the Niners. That'll be for Sean. Oh, if it's not, if we don't have a pre order up for it by now, then probably not. We got Roger Staubach, Epic Legends Relic. And I think that's a train whistle. One out of four. Richard, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Redemption is Jamar Chase. Rookie patch autographs, neon blue. Sign your cards, Jamar. Martin will get that one. I don't know why I top loaded that. Didn't, didn't need to top load that. TJ Hawkinson, brilliance. Two color patch for the Lions, Jacob Harris, jersey and autograph for the Rams. That's a number block team. So that goes to Rams nine. Rams are number block two. So Rams nine will be Mike. Mike Young with that one. Barry Sanders to 149. Julio Jones to 25. And there's one out of seven, AJ Brown. Piece of the pigskin right there. Sunday spectacle. Hoping to make a spectacle with the Eagles. This is still Titans edition, goes to Carl. Carl has the Eagles and Titans anyway. And there's Pete Werner, 10 out of 25, or Werner. That will be for the Saints. That's going to go to Robert. I don't know. Every draft class, Greg, there's always a notorious non-signer or two. It's, a, it's unfortunate, but it happens. More plates and patches. This time, back in time to 2018. Derek Henry to 99. Return of the Mac, Marlon Mack to 50. And we've got uh, Michael Thomas, dual relic, to 99. That'll be for the Saints, Robert. And then we got Ronald Jones, 10 out of 35. Nice triple relic and autograph. It's TJ's dad. That's going to go to Brian and the Buccaneers. And the plate is uh, Eli Manning from 2017 Immaculate Football. Chad with the Giants, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. All right, maybe some obsidian. We got Tom Brady to 75, Nick Chubb to 75, John Hightower reveals a LaVisca Chenault Jr. Trifecta Materials, triple relic for the Jags, that'll be for Carl. We got Jordan Love Trifecta Triple Relic for the Packers, that'll be for Martin. DeAndre Swift to 299 for the Lions, that's going to be for Jonathan. And Antonio Gandy, Golden, 91 out of 99. That's a catch. Jersey and autograph for Ron and the Commanders. Origins Football, 2020 edition. Oh, opens this way. Is it time to hydrate? Yeah, take a take a drink break, ladies and gentlemen. To 299, Juju Smith Schuster, DJ Shark to 99, Austin Hooper, Drew Locke, T. Higgins to 75. That'll be for Cincinnati, Martin. We got Denzel Mims, two color patch and autograph to 25. 
That'll be for Trent and the Jets. And the redemption is Cam Akers rookie autographs wet red for the Rams. All right, some Zenith, 2020 Zenith. We've got Gronk, DK Metcalf to 49, Jerry Rice, Z jerseys to 60. We got Jacob Eason, triple relic and autograph to 25. That'll be for the Colts. That's for Bill. Isaac Bruce, autograph. Nice. Eight out of ten, old school Ram for number block two. That's Dylan with the Rams in number block two. And then there's rookie Jonathan Taylor. That was 2020 Zenith. Here's 2021 Zenith. Jared Goff, Big Ben, and then Team Summit, Joe Montana, Steve Young, Trey Lance. Wow, it'd be nice if Trey Lance did match up with those guys. TBD on that, 149 out of 149, Niners, Sean Kirkham. Where does Debo Samuel end up? There's his autograph, 99 out of 99. Another Niner for Sean. We got Triple Relic and Autograph, Devonta Smith for the Fly Eagles Fly. One out of 25. Carl with the Eagles. All right, some, uh, let's do Obsidian T-Mall first. Sam Darnold, Cooper Cup. Curtis Weaver, Josh DeGuara, uh, that is to 25, and Antonio Gibson. I forgot that those don't guarantee hits. I should have done that earlier. All right, Mosaic Choice. Good luck. I'm an FBI agent. Charles Tillman. Ladanian Tomlinson, Man of the Year. We saw Chris Long earlier. Here's Kyle Long for the Chiefs. That's going to go to Allen and the Chiefs. Mark Brunel, John Riggins. Uh, and that is a Patrick Queen Peacock parallel. I love these. Thanks. And that is for Nancy and the Ravens. Nice uh, short prints that are exclusive to these Mosaic Choice sets. We got Zaven Collins, Caleb Farley to, to 80. All right. Last three, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We made it. We're going to do a recap in a separate video, by the way. This video is long enough. All right, first one out of the gate is Alexander Mattis, 20 out of 25. Two-color patch and autograph. 2020 Panini 1. And it's, it's a Ram. Uh, 40 out of 99. I'm a man. I'm 40. 
Dual Relic and on card autograph Cam Akers. Rams zero. Rams are number block two. So Rams zero, Tony. And last but not least, the 62nd box of our Jaspies 62 box NFL Draft Football Mixer. We're going to close out with Henry Ruggs. All right. Not the best finish, but thanks everybody for getting in. Appreciate it. But we are going to give away some nice stuff. So let's get that going. First of all, let's do left right randomizers. We'll combine the points, winner take all on the points. Uh, recap video will be in a separate video. So what do I need here? I need left right. And then everyone has a shot at the points. Or actually, points will be under the wax party spot. All right, so let's flip back over here. So there's the left right randomizer. Let's grab everyone's names 1 through 32 for the wax party. We'll do that last. And then I need two randomizers for any potential non numbered cards. So here's number block one non numbered card, number block two. Right there, that's with Mike Young with Last Spot Mojo, and this one is with Corey Last Spot Mojo. Is that it? I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else I need to do here. Great. Thanks, everybody. One dice roll for all of those lists. Good luck. Oh, come on, random.org. 11 times? Too late for this. 11 times, left, right, randomizer. One, two, after a long break, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven and final time. So right side cards, we'll get those left right cards. Uh, eleven times for the non numbered card for number block one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And finally, 11th and final time, that's for Corey, last spot mode. So if, if there are any non-numbered cards, those will go to you. I don't think there are any non-numbered hits. Uh, 11 times for the other number block group. This is the Rams group. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11th and final time. After 11, Dylan with that one. So if there are any non-numbered Rams cards, those will go to you. All right, five and a six, 11 times for the big one here. Top two get wax party spots. Third person gets a lot of points. 900 plus 250 plus 150. Whatever that math's out to be. 11 times, good luck. One. Oh, and if it ends up with a number block spot, we'll, uh, as, as you saw in the description, we're gonna do a separate randomizer again. Between the 10. Two, three, four, five. It's all in the description. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Then final time after eleven. So three. Okay, so the number block situation is not going to count. Three, you're going to get a lot of points, Martin. There you go. Points going your way, but apologies, just short of those wax party spots. Top two. If you're in the after eleven, if you're in the wax party, you got a shot at winning a case of NT basketball. Check out the details. Sealed case. Fresh case. Check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Stephen Flat and Richard, last spot mojo. Congrats to the both of you. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, in a separate video will be a recap. So we'll see you for that in a little bit. jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.